In this video, I'll show you how to download and install mods in Farming Simulator 22. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing and leave a like as well. And let's get right into this video. I'll show you two different ways of how you can go and install mods. You probably already know that on the home screen, you can go and install mods from the Farming Simulator Mod Hub or the Giants Mod Hub. All you need to do is go for some downloadable content and then you can go look at the whole Mod Hub. You find a something you like, for example, this tractor here. And all you need to do is go and press on install down here. However, most people already know this and you probably want mods from external websites because they're quite limited um, with what's on the mod hub. So all you need to do is go and close off a farming simulator just like so. And what you need to do is go and open up your browser. So go and open up a web browser, it can be any, and you want to come to a mod website. Now it's important that you come to a trusted website because there may be some with viruses on and things like that. So just make sure it's legitimate. And then all you need to do is go and find a mod you'd like. So for this example, I thought I'd go and download this emergency vehicle here, um, just because it's, it looks quite cool and there's nothing quite like it in the game. Then all you need to do is scroll down and find the download button. Now this is where you've got to be careful because there can be things like viruses or ads and things like that. And then all you need to do is press free download and then click download file and the download will now begin. Now every browser is slightly different. As you can see in this case, um, the mod is downloading in the bottom of my browser, but if you're not using Google Chrome, this will be different, but you can always go and find your mods inside of your file explorer. Um, so let's go into this. So now all you want to do is go and get the mod somewhere where you can easily find it. I'm gonna put this on my desktop, but as I said before, yours is very likely to be in your downloads folder. So once you've gone and found the mod, the next thing you need to do is go and open up your file explorer and you need to go to your documents folder. And then once you're in documents, all you need to do is locate this one called my games, this folder, and go and double tap on it. Now inside of this is gonna be farming simulator 22, and then all you need to do is tap on that again. And inside of this folder here, inside the farming simulator folder, should be a folder called mods. Now, if there isn't one, don't worry. All we need to do is go and right click on an empty space. So here, for example, and then all we need to do is press on new, and then you can go and press on folder, press on folder, and then you can just go and name this folder mods. I'm not going to because I already have a folder, um, but that is how you do it if you'd want to. So I'm just gonna go and delete that as I don't need it. So here is my mods folder here. And then all we need to do is go and drag the mod into this folder here. So I'm gonna go and drag it in just like so. And there you go, it's now inside of it. So now there's one more step you need to do after you launch Farming Simulator, and then you can go and play with this mod. So I've just loaded the game. When you install mods, you do need to make sure you've restarted the game. Then all you need to do is press on career, and let's go into a game. So when you go and first click on a game, you need to go and make sure you selected the mod. As you can see, this is the one I just installed here, um, the Volkswagen car. So make sure you go and tap it and select it and make sure it's ticked just like so. You may have to double click on that and then you can go and press start and then we can go and get it in the game. So the game is now loaded. So let's go and tap on start and then here we are. So now let's go and open up the shop and go and purchase it. So here we are inside of the shop and you now need to go and find the mod you just installed. In this case, it's called its own folder for me. So as you can see, here it is. But if you can't go and find the game, then I recommend just coming onto the right hand side and then go click on mods and DLCs and you should be pretty easy to go and find it in here. Or you can just go and look in these categories and they should be clear. All you want to do is go and double tap on it and then you can go and figure it. So just wait for it to load. And then all you need to do is go and configure it just like so. We can go and purchase it. And here is the car. As you can see, we can hop in it. I'll start it up and then we can go and take it for a quick drive. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Subscribe for more. Peace.